Why do pool stores sell you chemicals you don't need for your swimming pool? I hate this question. This is something that, as a pool industry professional, I deal with all the time, and there's a lot of different ways to answer this question. It could be the person that you dealt with was trying to take advantage of you. Could be the person that you dealt with didn't really know what they were doing. It could be that the person was trying to help you, and maybe it's even actually good advice, but you're getting conflicting advice from a different source, and so thereby you think that the advice you're getting is not good. It's hard as an industry professional to answer this question, but one of the ways that I try to describe to people how this system works, why it feels like you're being sold things you don't need. When you maintain a swimming pool properly, which is to say you're proactive with adding your chemicals, nine times out of 10, the only thing you need is more chlorine because chlorine does a lot of different things in the water. For example, you've probably heard of pool algicide, right? That's something you might even have a bottle of that outside, algicide, you add that to your pool all the time, right? Did you know that chlorine is an algicide? That's one of the functions of chlorine. That's why we choose chlorine to be one of the things that we use for chemical maintenance and sanitizing swimming pool water, because it is an algicide. So wait a minute, why is there algicide if chlorine is an algicide? Well, maybe you didn't add enough chlorine, and now you have a huge algae problem in your pool. Well, maybe even the chlorine would solve that for you. If you added enough chlorine, it's an algicide after all, and did some vacuuming of your pool and that kind of thing, brushing down the walls, typical things you would do if you had an algae problem, you might be able to resolve the problem with just chlorine. So why did the pool store sell you some algicide? Maybe that algicide is really strong and you have a bad case of algae in your pool and they know that you want to be swimming by Friday. That chlorine's not going to get the job done by Friday, so they're trying to help you and fast track the process. Or maybe they're not trying to help you and fast track the process. Maybe the person helping you just genuinely didn't know any better and they just, you know, they heard you have an algae problem, so they sold you algicide. That makes sense to me, right? Should be good to go. So the problem here is that you're not being sold things that you don't need most of the time. Most of the time you're being sold a reactionary chemical. Something went wrong with the initial process and now you need something else, whether it be an algicide or any other kind of chemical. Most of the time, if you're proactive with, with, with balancing your chemicals, specifically keeping your chlorine level, your free chlorine level above one part per million free chlorine at all times, you can usually avoid having to add a lot of those additional chemicals which only come into play when you're reacting to a problem that's, that's happened. So I find most times pool stores aren't really trying to sell you something you don't need, more so that they're trying to sell you the fastest way to resolve your problem and Perhaps it's maybe not the most cost-effective way, but perhaps it is the fastest. And then you need to decide for yourself where your priorities are. Do you want to get the pool fixed for as little money as possible, or do you want to get the pool fixed as quickly as possible? So I wouldn't immediately jump to the conclusion that somebody's trying to sell me something I don't need. More so, I would give them the benefit of the doubt that there's more than one way to do things, and there's more than one chemical to get the job done in most situations. And different people have different approaches that have worked for them over the years. And in general, I try to give pool stores the benefit of the doubt that they're not trying to rip you off. I believe most of them aren't. If this information was helpful to you, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.